Begin drawing out your dessert. Identify the simple shapes that your dessert is emulating. A sphere, a cube, a cone, or perhaps a hybrid of these various shapes. I keep my thumbnail out in the beginning stages of my painting. As I draw my composition out onto my canvas, I'm checking my work against my thumbnail. Be sure to pay attention to the space around your objects and check your composition for tangents. This is something you want to catch in the beginning stages, not, to, not attempt to fix after many paint layers. Weigh your positive space and your negative space. I first drew my composition out in vine charcoal, which is easy to wipe off and adjust. Once I like the placement of my subject and I'm happy with the contour drawing, I trace my vine charcoal lines in oil paint. Make sure your photo reference is out as you work. The goal is still to capture the value structure and the light logic of those objects. Begin with your darkest values and have your colors and value strains pre-mixed and ready to go. In this painting, I am painting directly with my pre-mixed colors rather than painting out a grayscale basic value statement to start. You can do either method. I'm beginning with shadows first and keeping my shadow layer relatively thin. In this method of working with direct color, it is essential that you have pre-mixed all of your major colors and values for your painting. I chose to make the background for my painting a pink mixed from alizarin crimson, phthalo green, and white. This decision will not only affect the background, but will also affect the reflected light on my objects. I bring that pink into the reflected light in the green bowl. This will make the bowl feel like it is truly part of that space. Once the major values have been established and you're happy with the basic value structure, then you can start to consider where to add thicker impasto textures. Okay, I'm beginning to add some really impasto sections where I'm getting it very thick. So I'm doing that in the light on this chocolate frosted donut. Um, you're gonna wanna generally be building up the lights really thick, but not necessarily the shadow areas. So it's gonna get thicker in these light sections. I'm using my palette knife and um, just sort of carefully <coughs> applying this layer of frosting. So you wanna make sure that you've mixed um, for the, the section that you want to be applying this thicker impasto, that you've mixed enough of that value and color to be applying that thick layer. Okay, um, and you can, I'm adding quite a bit of paint, you can see that in the way that it's raised up, and I can go in and kind of manipulate the surface, so I'm going to be thinking just like I'm frosting that actual donut and having the direction of my impasto strokes uh, follow the direction of the donut's form. So you can also apply impasto with a brush. Impasto is just a thicker paint application, but it is really fun to use the palette knife to add some really thick impasto sections. Now you can start to get into the light and build up texture. Remember that you want to build up texture in the light sections, not the shadow sections. Having contrasting textures going the range from thin paint to thick paint will be more visually interesting than thick texture and paint everywhere. Also consider building up the most texture in your focal point. The texture will call attention and help build focus in the same way that value and color can also build focus.